Uh, Brian, just talk about the, the second half that you guys came out. They had the ball. They had a chance to kind of get back, even after Kevin's interception, either tie or take the lead. And you shut him down with three and out, and then you got another three and out, and that was kind of the game right there. Yeah, that was huge, you know. But, but uh, you know, we went into halftime frustrated uh, with a couple of things that I think we've been able to execute. And uh, even with the looks that we had, I thought, I thought that we should have done better. Uh, on, on a couple of situations, so we, we, we were a little agitated at halftime. I thought that we missed some opportunities that we should, certainly uh, should have cashed in on, but um, you know, just we didn't think that we were going to be able to give them that many missed opportunities with the, with the skilled kids that they got. They can come back in the game very quickly. So, Coach, the, your line there to open the third play. I think uh, three minutes left in the quarter, you, you had held them to minus five yards. Just the way they stepped up to take control of that game on the defensive side. Yeah, you know, and we, we knew that, uh, you know, we talked all week about winning on first down. You know, if we could win on first down and then it, it puts them in a position where they got to do stuff that they, that they don't particularly want to do. And, uh, you know, our guys get off the ball pretty good. And, and uh, you know, I give, them, I give them a ton of credit. You know, you it's a good, good tough kids. Sorry, you mentioned the skill guys, Brian. I think you guys did a real good job of containing the quarterback. who's a very, uh, very talented kid. Well, I mean, I think that's a credit to the coaching staff and, and uh, the amount of time that they spend trying to, um, you know, break down what we've seen of, of that team and uh, try to just spend the hours to try to figure out what it is that they're trying to do and what they do best, you know. And we wanted to definitely try to take away what they did best. And I thought that, um, we, you know, I thought we did that today. So. What changed in the second half when stopping Garrett? Because it seemed like he had some wings to run in the first half, but it seemed like you guys did a good job of containing him and keeping him at the line. Well, I mean, I think there's a little bit of it is like in every game, you know, you get to kind of feel out, you know, you, you can talk stuff on the blackboard and you can practice it against your scout team, but until you feel like the speed of it, it it's it's hard. All right, thanks, Keith. Big one right there, brother. Keith, thanks, guys. Nice so, big right. one. Uh, I'm not doing nothing right now. <laughs> <laughs> so they had uh, the, but the um, the question was about our guys. That you know, and I, I'll tell you, we uh, we consider all of them superstars, you know, and they and they all understand that that they're gonna have opportunities to, to make big plays if they go ahead and block when it's their turn to block, and when they gotta you know do some of that dirty work, and uh, you know they complement each other, and, and they all know what the deal is, and, and uh, they they got some more football to play. Thankfully, you know.